Hello, our story today is Danger in the Magician's Garden. Oh, we've got some animals. What can we see? Fox. Fox. Mouse. 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 Together, we call them Mice. M-I-C-E. Mice. Let's look in our story and see what happens. Wow, what can we see? This is a garden in Puddle Lane. We can see a cat, a grey cat, a black cat and a little mouse. This is our story. What can we see here? We see a big tree and the sun and we can see some little mice. Let's look closely at them. Father mouse, mother mouse and some little mice. We'll see what they say in a minute. Let's go over here. We can read the story. I'll read for you then you can try. It was a fine warm evening. So it's not hot, it's not cold, it's warm. The wide awake mice were all out in the magician's garden. Magician is the man who can do magic and his garden is where the flowers are in the garden with the house. Uncle Maximus, that's him, Uncle Maximus, and Aunt Matilda. Aunt Matilda were sitting on a tree root. Here's the tree, and this is the tree root, and they can sit down by the hollow tree. Here's a tree with a big hole here. It's hollow. You can go inside it. When Jeremy came home with a sack full of nuts. This is Jeremy. That's his name. That's a bag. We can say sack and nuts. Mice like to eat nuts. Let's try this on together. Jeremy came home with a sack full of nuts. Jeremy came home with a sack full of nuts. Wow, what can we see here? We can see these two and this one. Where did you find these? asked Uncle Maximus. That's Uncle Maximus, that's his name, helping himself to a nut. Mmm, yum yum. On the steps of the magician's house, said Jeremy. That's Jeremy and his sack of nuts. There are lots more bits of cheese too and cake crumbs. I think I'll go and see for myself, said Uncle Maximus. He's going to look and find the cake and the cheese. He climbed down from the tree root. I'll come too, said Aunt Matilda. So he's going to look for the cheese and Aunt Matilda will come too. I'll just put this sack inside. Then I'll come and show you the way, said Jeremy. So they're going to put the sack in a tree. Then Jeremy can show Uncle Maximus and Aunt Matilda where to find the cheese and the cake crumbs. Here, you can try. 
Jeremy said the nuts were on the steps of the magician's house. Wow, what can we see here? This is Jeremy Mouse, Uncle Maximus, Aunt Matilda, the sack of nuts in the tree, the hollow tree. Jeremy left the sack in the big hole under the hollow tree and then set off with Uncle Maximus and Aunt Matilda towards the magician's house. So they go to the magician's house. Wow, what can we see here? Uncle Maximus, Aunt Matilda, look, dangerous and big stones and rocks and Jeremy, you have to climb all over the stones and in the garden. It's difficult. Jeremy led the way. That means he goes first. He is number one. Through the grass, climbing over rocks and running under bushes. Before they had gone very far, Uncle Maximus was out of breath. Isn't there an easier way to go? He panted. <sighs> yes, there is, said Jeremy. But this is the safest way. Safest? cried Uncle Maximus. Do you mean that it's dangerous out here in the garden? Well, you don't know who might be about said jeremy oh he looks a little scared right, uncle maximus aunt matilda jeremy look he's not happy he's a little scared i'm going back said uncle maximus i don't feel very well don't you want any cake crumbs asked Jeremy. Uncle Maximus looked very unhappy. He's not happy. Of course I do, he said, rather crossly, so he's a little angry. But I can't get to the steps and back. I'm not well. I can't do it. You go home, Maximus, said Aunt Matilda. I'll go on with Jeremy and bring some crumbs back for you. I, I think I will go home, said Uncle Maximus. I don't feel well at all. You can have a try. I'm going back, said Uncle Maximus. Wow, you can see the long grass. Aunt Matilda, Jeremy, the big stones and a fox and a bird. This is a black bird because his colour is black. Uncle Maximus went back to the hollow tree and Jeremy went on with Aunt Matilda. Suddenly a black bird in a tree over their heads began to scold. This is the black bird. So he's shouting because there's a fox. Aunt Matilda stopped. What's that blackbird saying? She asked. I don't know, said Jeremy. He sniffed the air <coughs> with his nose. <coughs> Can you smell anything? He asked. There's a very strange smell said Aunt Matilda. I don't like it. Nor do I, said Jeremy. They can smell the fox in the grass. Wow, here he is. And Aunt Matilda, Uncle Mouse. At that moment, a big fox jumped out from behind a bush. He seized Aunt Matilda in his mouth. 
So he grabbed her in his mouth. Jeremy leapt sideways. So Jeremy's here. And Jeremy, jump over here. We can say leap. So he leapt sideways behind some stones. He peeped out between two of the stones. So he looked a little here. We call this peep. And saw the fox standing there with Aunt Matilda in his jaws. His jaw is his mouth. Here he is, here's the fox with Aunt Matilda in his mouth. Jeremy was very frightened, but he wasn't going to run away if there was a chance of saving Aunt Matilda. He poked his head up over a stone. Put her down, he cried. You mustn't hurt anyone in the magician's garden. The magician said so. So there's little Jeremy and he look over the stones and he's very small and he's told the fox you can't hurt anyone because it's the magician's garden. You can try. Put her down, cried Jeremy. I'll just look at the picture. Here's the fox. Aunt Matilda's on the floor. He's got his foot. Push her down. She can't run away. Here's Jeremy. The fox put Aunt Matilda down on the ground and held her there with his paw. That's the name of his foot. We call it paw. He was planning to eat Aunt Matilda for supper. But he thought that if only Jeremy would come a little nearer, he might have two mice for supper, not just one. He wants Jeremy to come here and then the fox can eat two mice for supper. The magician said nothing to me, he said. I don't live in his garden, I live in the wood. So the fox doesn't care what the magician said. The fox put Aunt Matilda down. He said, I don't live in the magician's garden. Oh, look, here's the fox who sat down. Aunt Matilda under his foot, his paw. Here's Jeremy. What does he say? I don't care where you live, said Jeremy. I'll tell the magician. When the magician finds out that you've uh, hurt Aunt Matilda, you'll be sorry. Because the magician will be angry. I'm a little deaf, said the fox. I can't hear what you say. Come nearer. So he says he can't hear him because he wants Jeremy to walk over here and then the fox can eat two mice for dinner. Jeremy said, I will tell the magician. What can we see here? Oh, look, people, sister and brother, the fox. There's Jeremy and Aunt Matilda is under his foot, under his paw in the magician's garden. Two heads appeared over the bushes. So here's the bushes and two heads go over and look over the top. Harry and Gita had been playing ball in the magician's garden. So the two children, their names Harry and Gita. They were playing ball, so maybe football in the garden, or throw the ball and catch in the magician's garden. They were going home when they heard a noise and they stopped to see what it was. So 
they could hear some noise. What's that? And they look over the bushes here and they can see the fox and the little mice. Harry and Gita looked over a bush. They saw the fox. It's the fox. Here's the fox. This is Harry, that's his name. And there's the bull. Here's Aunt Matilda and Jeremy. What happened? As they looked, the fox made a sudden leap towards Jeremy. So the fox jump towards Jeremy. He wants to eat Jeremy. Harry still had the ball in his hand and quick as a flash, that means very, very fast, he threw it straight at the fox. Get off, he cried. Get away. There's Harry's ball hit the fox. Get off, cried Harry. Get away. Right, let's look at our picture. Here's Jeremy hiding in the stones. Aunt Matilda is still in the grass on the floor. And there's the fox go into the bushes and run away. The ball hit the fox in mid-air. It didn't hurt him, but it startled him. That means it scared him, made him jump. Jeremy ducked be down behind some stones. The fox dropped to the ground. He saw Harry and Gita and ran under the bushes. Harry and Gita chased after him. So there's the fox. There's Harry and Gita and they run after the fox because the fox is naughty. You can't hurt people in the special garden of the magician. The fox saw Harry and Gita. He ran off under the bushes. Well, here's Aunt Matilda. Look, her dress is broken and dirty. Look, she's been on the floor. She's not happy. Here's Jeremy. Jeremy came out from behind the stones and ran to Aunt Matilda. She was struggling to her feet, so she's trying to stand up. She's a little scared. Her dress was all torn and muddy. You look here, there's a hole here, it's broken, this is torn, and mud. This is the dirt here, look, it's all muddy. And she could scarcely stand, so she can't stand up very well. She's still very scared. Aunt Matilda shook her head. She couldn't speak. <sighs> Jeremy ran to Aunt Matilda. So he's run to his aunt to see if she's okay. She's still very scared. Here you can see Aunt Matilda and the dress is all dirty. Jeremy, Harry, Gita and the naughty fox. Jeremy helped her to limp across the stones. So she can't walk. She has to... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is limp. Wait here for a bit, he said. You'll be quite safe here. Look, there's a little hole under this stone. We can hide in that. They crept under the stone. Creep. It's walked very slowly very quietly Shh. and waited they could hear Harry and Gita shouting a long way away so Harry and Gita are running after the fox Jeremy and Aunt Matilda hid so you can't see them they hide they could hear Harry and Gita there you go these two are in the hole under the stones so you can't see them here you can see them look in the stones in the little hole there's Jeremy on the stones 
and the blackbird. The shouting stopped. Jeremy came out of the hole. The blackbird had stopped scolding. So the blackbird isn't shouting and was down on the ground. Here's the blackbird. He's on the ground now. Looking for worms. Blackbirds like worms. They live here in the flowers. They can eat them. Jeremy sniffed the air. The fox had gone. Jeremy came out of the hole. The fox had gone. Let's see Aunt Matilda, muddy dress, and Jeremy. They're still in the tree and the stones in the garden. Jeremy went back to Aunt Matilda. It's safe to go home now, he said. I don't know if I can, whispered poor Aunt Matilda. I'm almost too frightened to move, so she's very, very scared. We must go while it's safe, said Jeremy. I'll go first. He crept out of the hole and Aunt Matilda limped after him. She's too scared so she can walk like this. Jeremy went back to Aunt Matilda. We must go home, he said. Wow, so many mice, many mice. Look, you can see everyone here. Big family. A few minutes later, the two little mice crept safely back down the mouse hole and under the hollow tree. So they walked very quietly and you can't hear them. Very, very quiet. The other mice were all there. Here's all the other mice. Many mice. They heard Harry and Gita shouting and had run home as fast as they could. I'll never go into the garden again, said Uncle Maximus when he heard what had happened. Someone will have to go, said Aunt Jane. We have to go out to find food, but we'll be very careful. You have to be careful all the time when you're a real wood mouse, said Chestnut. So where's Chestnut? He's, is that Jeremy? No, here's Jeremy. Here's Chestnut. He's a wood mouse. He lives in the woods, not in the garden. The wide awake mice were all at home in the hole under the tree. Harry and Gita and the gates of the garden, the magician's garden. Harry and Gita came back through the garden looking for the mice, but the mice had gone. They must be all right and must be okay, said Harry. They must have gone home. We must tell the magician about that fox, said Gita. Yes, we must, said Harry. It's not safe for the mice with a fox in the garden. They went back into Puddle Lane. So they went home. Harry and Gita looked for the mice, but the mice had gone. We must tell the magician, said Gita. There we go. That's our story today. The story is about our mice here, Uncle Maximus, Aunt Matilda, Jeremy and the fox and danger in the magician's garden in Puddle Lane. Thank you. Bye bye.